Hey y'all, Retromet here from IBM Engineering, and today I'm going to show you all how to create a project that you could use as essentially like a sandbox or training, or really you could spin it up for your actual project that you're working on in engineering lifecycle management. To start, first log in to your profile. After logging in, go up to the top right hand corner and click on the gear icon, and when you mouse over it, it says administration. Click on that. In this drop down menu here, go down to create lifecycle project. And then what you can do here is that you can give your project a name, you can select a template for it, and you can also give these individual aspects of the project a name. You can also add a description and change the default language if you would like to. To walk you all through this, I'm going to put in an example project name, and that is going to be uh, a Bernadoodle puppy training. I'm getting a puppy soon, so I plan to show you all how to use IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management to train your puppy as a real-world example. I'm going to leave the template selected as default, but if I wanted to add some stuff or get rid of something, I could change that as well. We can also rename each of these, and we can change the project template available for it, but I'm just going to leave that all as default. Finally, I'm going to click on Save, and it's going to take one second to kind of generate all these different project areas. And what it does, I'll show you all how to access that. All right, we are back and it is finished generating the project areas because that box uh, disappeared right here. There's several ways that we can actually access the individual components of the project. Uh, first off, we can either click on them down here where it shows the blue hyperlink and the name of what we just created. Or if we come up to the top left hand corner and click on the hamburger menu, we get access to all the projects that we have created within our account. And I'm just going to go down here and click on our Bermudal Puppy Training Requirements located underneath our Doors Next tool. I'll just click into that. And it'll take one second to load. And now it's just going to be loading the default safe template for requirements management in Doors Next. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below. Also, make sure you check out for that puppy series to see a real-world example of IBM Engineering's tool. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.